forecast. What a day out there from the frigid air last week to now well above average temperatures this week. We're in the 50s this noon time. If you're headed out to grab a little lunch and take a little extra long break, 52 in Providence, 56 in Smithfield, Boston, 57. New Bedford now has hit 50. And we've been stuck in the clouds in parts of Newport, Quinnick Islands, a little cooler there. Richmond at 53. Notice still in the 40s in Westerly. I expect tomorrow to be even as mild, if not a little bit milder, Boston has the potential in the mid afternoon to hit close to 60 degrees by 11 a.m. Upper 40s, mild and dry. Now there may be a sprinkle around in the morning, and I'll show you that at one o'clock in the afternoon, around 54 degrees. So leading our key things, the mild stretch of weather. All this work week is above normal. Warmest days are today, tomorrow, and Friday. We do have some shower chances starting Wednesday night and lasting into at least part of Friday, and then once that moves through. We've got some cold weather returning. Well, don't think about that yet. Just enjoy the sunshine this noontime. South southeast winds about nine miles per hour. Humidity is at 61%. That warm and relatively muggy air flowing over the cooler water has allowed that fog to form along the coastline. This is actually the best I've seen it in about two or three hours. And it won't go far, that low cloud deck and fog. It's not producing any precipitation. But notice what happens as we head into the late afternoon and evening. The sun starts to go down. That low cloud deck will once again experience Expand northward and as it does, we'll watch our temperatures early tomorrow morning. Much like this morning, we may find some patches of black ice out there uh, due to temperatures near freezing, especially at the pavement and any fog or drizzle. Did you catch that quick little shower racing through 11 o'clock in the morning? It's out of here in Boston. Skies will be clearing for the afternoon and for this afternoon, south southwest winds temperatures in the middle 50s next few hours at five o'clock in the evening still very mild at 49 degrees. So we are in between systems for today. Those showers crossing the Ohio Valley will try to race through here tomorrow morning. For the evening hours, it'll stay dry. 43 at 6 o'clock, 30s at 11 o'clock in the evening, and then those late night lows falling to the low to mid 30s. Watch for some fog, some mist, so some reduced visibility under mostly cloudy skies. So best chance of rain this week comes actually Wednesday night. Looking at 3 o'clock in the afternoon Wednesday, clouds on the increase. Here comes this back of wet weather and for our region it is mostly rain. I am going to be keeping a close eye on the possibility of a little freezing rain north and west of Providence. This is 7 a.m. on Thursday morning. Batch number one moves out. We'll have a second batch of showers that comes in uh, Thursday night and into Friday morning. And so the, both of that's reflected in our seven day forecast. Dry skies though today and through much of the day tomorrow. After we get through those extra clouds in the morning, we're off to the races with those temperatures between 55 and 60 degrees. Wednesday is a cooler day, but even that is warmer than normal with dry conditions during the day. And then that chance of rain and possibly a little freezing rain after 9 or 10 o'clock in the evening. Right now, the upcoming weekend, it looks storm free, but it's also back to that chillier air with highs only in the lower 30s. I'm going to 